cutting to the chase, I'm not going to, you know, abuse you with yet another video of me rubbing down, but I do want to show you something. I've just finished rubbing down the cracked mechleth, and I'm really, really liking that. Um, I'm thinking for this one, I really like the idea that this is like something that's had some, you know, wear and tear has been abused. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep these cracks. I might actually rub over it with a bit of um, uh, black acrylic. I'm just going to splotch it on and, you know, add a bit of dirt and stuff like that. And maybe just give it a nice slight rub over and try and fill in some of these cracks. I'm really, I'm really loving that. That is kind of just cool by itself. This one wasn't gloss varnished. This is the exact same paint, the exact same color. Now hold these up, you can see that difference that gloss is going to make. And I really didn't, I wasn't really paying that much attention. But yeah, you look at that. If anything, the gloss has kind of made this look a little bit darker. You know, it's a little bit lighter than the black, black one. But that's still quite a bit darker than I was expecting. It's tempted to try and use the white, even though I've botched up. I might do a test piece with it. But I really, I really like that. I really like, I'm starting to really enjoy that finish particularly. But I really like this cracked, cracked uh, necklace. I might have to go over it with a bit more paint and give it another rub. Because I just noticed that at the top there, it's just not as, as sealed. So that's something I'm, I can just do that now. That's it, because it's just graphite. Painting over it's not going to be make much damage. It's not going to corrupt or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm going to hang that up. I'll finish that up later on. I only painted this today. I mean, it's nice and hot outside. And it's really dry, so that's paint's cooking for a while. Uh, but for this one, yeah, I'm, not, I'm still not 100% happy with the orange peeling in that. But you know what? Okay, I've actually just done another rub on this. It hasn't really visually done anything differently, but... As I said, I think it was because it was an indoor light, you know, I'm using natural light at the moment and having it right next to a neon light is probably what was making those imperfections really kind of, uh, you know, come out. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one hooked up. I can put it over here. So now what I need to do is I'm going to quickly nip off screen. I'm going to go and look through the... Um, bag of leatherette. I'm going to pick out a couple of pieces and we'll have a look and see how they go. Now, this is the leather, it's just old leather and leatherette I've pulled off of couches and such, you know, curbside collection. I believe this is the stuff I used for my previous mechle. That's kind of your more classic, just brown. Now, Here's some cream, get on top. Very, very light. There's this brown eye, light brown eye shown earlier. But probably for my personal mechleth, I'm a big fan of green. I might make mine out of that now. I'm tempted to. Let's have a quick look at how these will do. I'll go with the green one first, because it's right here. That's all right. If it was a bit lighter, the uh, discrepancy might be a little bit better. Yeah, I think I'd like that. I'd like that on a lighter. So when I do my white test, I might give that a gloss coat. It should brighten it up a lot. And it might, that might work with that. How about this one? That's one other thing. He's got different thicknesses. You've got to be careful of. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's got a nice contrast. I kind of like that. No, not too struck on that. Not not on that tone. That might be good for the darker mechle, the classic brown. Let's have a look at that. No, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. That could work. Um, as I said, this is probably not going to be the standardized one. Because I was trying to, I really want to get it a bit lighter than that. I like the lightness of the crack one. That uh, gloss has deepened it down, or it's reflecting the, the metal in the way that darkens it. Now for the crack mechleth, I was actually thinking of, I've got some leather cord strapping, which is more the classic thing for a 
Ratpath. But some mechlets do have it. I was thinking of going with this, you know, having, you know, having a, a strap. Make it look like it's been through the walls a lot. So let's have a look. I think my leather strap is a lighter shade than this, but I've got some, I've got some darker stuff. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Let's have a look at... Uh, it's alright. Uh, I kind of like that, actually. I kind of, I think the, that grey, the green and the kind of dull grey, I think that really works for that. That's, that's going to go with that one. I think that's going to go with that one. So now what I need to do is, I'll go grab my fabric scissors. Oh, I forgot that I painted that. See, it's already pretty much touch dried then. But I'll let, I'll leave that for about an hour to properly cure out. By the way, uh, if you're watching this and you're interested in any of the styles I've done, I will make you a custom one to fit in that style. If you actually like any of the leather right I've used, I'll, I can use some of that. I'm thinking basically they're about 75 bucks each. I'm going to be selling the Batlets hopefully for about 150 because they are pretty massive. These are not tiny. I mean the Mechlets almost half, but I mean it's still it's not just the size, there's still a lot of work that goes into all, all this. I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into this particularly. Cause you got to remember, this edge needs to be done, these edges need to be done, it needs to be cleaned up, potty, spot filled, leather wrapped. So, there's a lot of work that goes into these. And so, you know, you might go, oh, it's 75. Well, that's a lot of work goes into this one, more so than that. I mean, I've seen shitty ones of these go for 200. Non-metal, I mean, this is just... I've seen foam ones. I mean, this is all. I make everything con safe. It's better that way. If anyone wants to make it as a, um, this should be good enough to have as a wall ornament. Yeah, this is really, it was a lot easier to swing around in a shed. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Or better still, you know, share. You know, the comment on the thing. Say, hey, I love your work. Share the links. Uh, I post this to my YouTube, and but I also share links to my Facebook page, Fanboy Crossing the page, and I also share that to my personal account. So if anyone who actually knows me, feel free to share this along. If, if you find a tip you like, or even if you even if you want some tips, uh, I can do a bit of research and yeah, you know, maybe try and build something. Who knows? So see ya.